Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and I'm back with another episode of Tech It. Uh, last time we had some weird things. If you missed last episode, I would highly suggest you go uh, check that out. Oh, and uh, I guess I should explain this. I played around with this for, like, probably half an hour, just trying to figure stuff out. So I guess I'll go quickly over what all of this stuff is. And I wish I could go over quickly why it doesn't work, but I don't know why it doesn't work. It just kind of doesn't work. So I'm still working on that, um, and I've got a, a ton of random materials, basically, because of this. Um, anyways, yeah, so last time we ended up in some weird, like, unraveled world kind of thing, and it was uh, pretty weird. That's really all that I can say about it. It was out there. Um, I'm still not quite sure what was going on with that. I was going to go look, and I kind of spaced going to look for that. But, uh, let's see, what do I have here? Okay, so these are combustion engines. I've got one, two, three of them. I've got a couple of redstone engines. None of them are working like they should. That's okay. Uh, this is a redstone furnace, which my hope was that... Okay, so let me let me start from the beginning. Here I've got a pump, right? So this is going to pump oil. It can pump water, I think, but water is not useful. Uh, but it can pump oil, it can pump fuel, it can pump lava. And this is a tank that it's pumping into. This is the combustion engine that's running it. Pretty simple. Um, right, so then... The idea was that I could then pump the water from here into this comb uh well the oh gosh um that is overheating I might as well like take off all of these torches so that I don't cause any explosions randomly which I think they can do that uh anyways so the idea was that these engines would power the pulverizer, which of course would pulverize the ore, which would then go into the redstone furnace, which would uh, smelt the ore, well, smelt the dust, and then put it in this chest as ore. Uh, I haven't quite gotten it working out, so... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what happened. That's what's going on. And, um... Like I said, I'm not planning on really doing much uh, as far as smelting my ore unless I have to at least until I kind of get this stuff figured out so uh, I'm gonna keep playing around with it I watched a couple tutorial videos and I set things up multiple ways this is like my weird hybrid of a bunch of different stuff after like the first four or five ways didn't work so this is what I've got, but I think what I will do today is maybe just go like walk around and go explore something, and maybe not go into a cave this time, just kind of actually go and explore. Um, I don't know, I guess let's pick a direction here and kind of walk. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. Uh, I spent a lot of materials, of course, making a lot of that stuff, but it will be useful, it's just not useful right now. So I'm not really, like, upset that I spent that stuff. Oh, I like that this has, like, a little walkthrough over to here. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not really sure, like, what I'm supposed to do Unfortunately, right now, I don't have a lot of time, like, free time to just be playing around with this stuff, but I think uh, sometime in the next week or two, I should, so we should only have a couple more episodes where I'm just kind of wandering aimlessly, and then I should be able to get things kind of figured out for real. <laughs> so what I'll probably do is... Um, I will probably start up a creative world, and creative worlds let you just spawn as many items as you want. Well, I mean, I wouldn't even have to use creative worlds, honestly. 
Um, because I've got the Too Many Items mod, so I could just do it in a normal world as well, but I won't do it in this one. And basically I want to just like open up some tutorial videos, open up some guides to do this stuff, and figure out how to start building some buildcraft stuff. I think that's probably the best way to go into it. Um, because right now, I like I just can't figure it out tinkering around with it. Some things work, some things don't. So I'm not really sure where that leaves me and like what I should do next. Um, I don't know if I'll record that. If I do, I would probably upload it as like a bonus episode because uh, it wouldn't be a lot of me commentating things probably. It'd probably be a lot of me going, okay, 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 why doesn't that work? <laughs> and that would be like the extent of my commentary for that episode. Um, I, I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. If I feel like um, recording it, maybe I will. But, oh, that's lovely. Got some water right above us. Okay. I didn't need to come in here, but you know me, the uh, the allure of, of coal, right? I just can't help myself. I know I, I just said that I wasn't going to be mining either, but... Also, I mean, I'm just using, like, tons of resources all the time because I keep building these machines and having them not work. Which is fine because, I mean, someday I'll be able to figure out how they work. So, it's not like it's just, like, a total waste of materials. But, for now, it's just not really working. <laughs> Oh man, as long as I don't get, like, sent to hell again, like last episode, I'm okay. And maybe I will spend a little bit of time at the base trying to figure that stuff out. I just don't like having to alt-tab and, and kind of do stuff, like read things off-camera, because I know that is not fun to watch, really. <laughs> You know, just watch my pause screen. But, uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. Uh, well, that's what was trying to go on anyways. Nothing's really working, but... That's okay. It's not the end of the world. And, uh, I guess someday we will have, like, a big old kind of factory that just kind of automates everything for us. That'll be kind of cool. I am looking forward to that. Because, like, I mean, if you think about it, so, like, the, the system that I set up, though it doesn't work, if it did, basically what it would allow me to do is put in ore, and then I could, um, from that, that ore would be put into dust, and that dust would be smelted into into like bars right and I would actually get double bars because of the way that the pulverizer works so that would be nice I mean that's that's a really cool automated system but then that's just the beginning because then if you think about it what I could do after that is set up a quarry and um, oh I see like some lava over here I want to go check this out um, and then from a quarry what happens is uh, you can actually like sort stuff as it comes out of the quarry so I could sort things so that then I could sort the ore to go into a system like that so basically I wouldn't even have to mine the ore myself anymore I could just set up a quarry set up that system and the thing is I think right now my problem is that I'm making it too complicated which is of course pretty common as far as when people have problems with things, generally they're making them too complicated. And I feel like that is probably uh, at the heart of my issues here, is that I am just kind of overthinking these things. Why is the map going like nuts? The hell is that? I want some of these lily pads while I'm here. 
I'm gonna go check that out. I, I don't know what's up with it, but it's... Uh, it's, it's interesting to me. Also... Wow. Well, that looks fun. Not... Wouldn't want to fall down that. Um, well, okay. What the hell is this? Oh my god, it's like, it's just a hole. What is this? Oh, we got a, a chunk issue, I think. Wow. Um, let's see if I can uh, play around with this. <laughs> this is wild. Oh, it's like a legit chunk issue, too. Um, I'm gonna screw around with this real quick. Can I just... Whoa! Oh, it doesn't like that at all. Wow, I've never seen... Oh, the music just, like, died. What the hell? How weird. Um, well... <laughs> this is quite the thing I've found. And I'm not really sure... If there's anything I can do with it, like, I expected it to, to let me, like, fall in, at least. But obviously that didn't happen, and it wouldn't let me, like, send water over the edge or anything. It is pretty cool that I can see across there, but this is, like, it's just weird. Holy cow. Um, I don't know, this is a pretty cool thing. I'm kind of interested in seeing how far this actually goes. <laughs> I mean, hopefully it's not just like through the entire world, because that would be kind of nuts. Oh no, there's the edge. Hmm. So it's just like this big rectangular chunk that's missing. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try and jump into it again. I doubt it'll let me. Oh my gosh, yeah, it is, like, really mad. Okay, well, let me save my inventory again. Whoa! Ah, what happened? Jesus. Let me, let me go. Oh, it doesn't like it. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just leave it alone then. <laughs> oh, rubber wood. That's good. Yeah, I don't know what to think about that. That's, um... That's pretty weird. Alright, good. Got some rubber. I wish there was, um... Kind of, like, more... Oh, is it... Is it fixing itself? No. It almost looked like it was, like, fixing itself on my map. But it's not. <laughs> Clearly. Alright. Hmm. Well. That was, uh, that was cool to see. I don't really know what I'm supposed to take from that. Clearly just some sort of big bug. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, wow. It is like really laggy today. I don't know what is going on. Of course, I've had Minecraft turned on for a while, so it might just be mad that I haven't given it a break, haven't turned it off. I'm not sure. Alright. Holy cow, yeah, we got like a, a big old desert here. It's kind of cool. Um,. It's making some interesting shapes on the map over here, which is why I was heading this way. But I guess it wasn't really uh, anything all that interesting. It is cool to see what Minecraft can offer, though. 
Oh my gosh, what the hell is going on? Okay. <laughs> We're back, yay! Um, here's what I'll do. Clearly, like, Minecraft is not too happy right now. Oh yeah, wow, Minecraft is like really chugging. We'll see if that helped at all. Uh, let me change it back to daytime as well. I really like being able to just change it to daytime. Because that, um, it helps a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot the cactuses hurt you. Cacti? Yeah, cacti. Alright, um... I mean, it doesn't help that I'm exploring, so I'm, like, loading new chunks that I've never seen. Which, of course, takes memory. Things like that. But, I mean, I'm trying to find some, some cool stuff. And... Uh, without without revealing too much behind the scenes, I'm also just kind of trying to have a filler episode a little bit. Um, I, I'm actually, like, I'm preparing for finals week right now, although not really. I haven't had time to study for finals, actually. Uh, and the reason for that is that I had a bunch of teachers who decided this would be the perfect week to assign, like, a shit ton of assignments. So... God, I love lighting glitches. Never change, Minecraft. Never change. I love how, like, even when you get up close to them, sometimes they don't fix. Alright, cool. <clears throat> I just wanted to come grab this iron, that's all, really. Oh, there's a big old thing of oil there. Oh my gosh. Oh, is the music back? Is that what that was? Couldn't really tell. Kinda hope the music comes back. Oh, it's a doggy. I like the doggies. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think of, like, what things we still have never seen. I guess in my series, we've still never seen, um, like, a village. Of course, considering this is an old version of Minecraft, I don't know if villages would be in or not. I'm really bad at remembering, like, when things were actually added. And what version big updates happened. I know like adventure mode was added in 1.8, but I still think adventure mode doesn't work much. I don't think it really does anything yet. Um, so that's not really like a big thing. Uh, the fact that it's missing. Oh uh, yeah, so basically what's happening is... Oh wow, yay, there's another one of these. Oh, this one doesn't have a portal though. That's good news, at least. Oh! Yes, it does. Um... I mean, should we do it? <laughs> Let me... Okay. I'll do it. Uh, we're doing it! Right? We might as well. Okay, what? what oh my god. Oh, is this from from last time? Because like a whole bunch of shit blew up last time. Okay, do I have like good building materials? No. I should have prepared a little, I guess. Cuz I want to build myself like a bridge over here. So, let's do just that. Okay. So. I don't I have no idea like what I'm doing. This is so wild. Oh 
man. Um, okay, I mean, the problem is, like, I oh, I can lay a brick just like that. Okay. Cool. So, now what I want to do, right, because the portal's on the other side, so I want to go like this and step through and see where this takes me. Oh. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Okay. Now I just gotta hope that nothing crazy happens. Ah, uh -huh, there's that eye. I don't like those fucking eyes. Okay. Um, okay. I think this one took me to the nether? That's odd. Well, it took me to a chest as well, so I got some of this stuff. Another diamond. Let me uh, save my inventory. Because we remember what happened last time. Things got bad pretty fast. Um, what's down here? Uh, I can't really get there from there. Oh god, that was... A little too close for comfort. Okay, I can fall down like this. Okay. Fabric of reality. I love that. What a cool thing that's going on here. Okay. I I made it. I'm here. Now what's here? Okay, we've got some more iron bars whole bunch of like obsidian staircase okay ah another door this is so cool okay we are like really exploring like the uh, the fabric of reality here that's what we'll call it the fabric of reality I mean, I still don't like those eyes, though. That's that's the only thing. Okay, so I mean, I could go in there. The problem is, there's there's just so many doors. Like, which one do I take? Okay, that's where I came from. You know what? I'll go on the wooden one. Let's do it. Where's this gonna take me? Sorry that we're just like jumping around places. Um. I don't know, we're just gonna see what happens here. Although it does not like jumping to this one. This is definitely the longest it has taken to load the terrain. Um, hello? Hello? Yeah, I kind of hope that this loads soon. Um, okay, I don't really want this to, like, end up being the end of an episode. That would be not very cool, but, oh, there we go, finally. Oh, no, we're here. Yep. That was the one. Oh, no, this brought us back home. I'm guessing. Oh. Or not. Oh, this brought us back. Back. Somewhere. Somewhere totally new. It's a whole new world. Hello? <laughs> okay. Wow, yeah, I am like... How far away am I from places? Pretty far away. Um... Well, I mean, I kind of want to go back... But I'll look around first and see if there's anything, like, super noteworthy here. Gosh.
I don't know. Um, I, I like those dimensional doors. I just wish I understood them a little more. Oh, well, I found the surface. Okay, so... Maybe I just exit? And don't worry about it? So, I mean, I think what I do is I, I leave a map point here. Because that door, for whatever reason, seemed to stay. So, that can be my way back, I guess. So... Dimensional door. Okay. Alright, cool. Um, and yeah, I guess we're on the surface again. Uh, hmm. I don't really know where we're going now. That was, uh, that was a fun little trip, though. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Glad I decided to be brave and go back through the dimensional doors. <laughs> They're still a little weird. I still don't quite get what's going on with those. But they're interesting. I guess someday, like I said, someday we'll we'll know. <clears throat> we will learn all the secrets. Okay. Yeah, more oil. I'm just kind of exploring the desert now, I guess. What is going on here? Oh, is this, um... This might be... Ah... Just what I thought. I think this is like a... Yep, this is a dungeon. That's really cool. Alright, so... I guess I should, like, dig down and try and... <laughs> find what's going on here. Oh, that didn't help anything. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Um, oh, is now are we talking? Is this going to lead us somewhere? Kind of. Um, I've actually never been to a desert dungeon. If that is, in fact, what this is. It's a desert something, alright. Oh my gosh, I cannot handle the lag today. You know, this is a, a strange little cave system. That's for sure. Probably not even gonna like mess with this much. I think I'll probably just work my way out and set a map point and kind of head back at this point. Because uh, we're probably coming up on where we should call this one to a close today. Um, how. Oh, there we go. It's like, wait a minute. How, how did I get in here? Of course, I'm still having issues figuring out how I got in here. You know what? We're not that far from the surface, right? We'll just dig our way out. Oh! Oh! I'm too good. That could uh, That could have been me. Dead. That's what it could have been. But it wasn't, because I'm, I'm better than that. I was like, oh, nah, uh I'm not getting crushed by sand today. So. Uh, we'll just call this, like, Desert Cave or something. Sure. Did I spell that right? Yeah, I think so. I always get messed up with uh, d uh, Desert and Dessert. I think that's pretty common. I think a lot of people do that. So, I'm not all that worried about it. Oh, what I am worried about is having to uh, code as soon as I'm done with this episode. Gosh. So, yeah, um, I've, I explained it in a different thing. I don't know if it was 
um, Minecraft or if it was just a different series or what, but basically at my university we have dead week the week before finals. And the idea of dead week is that professors aren't supposed to assign, like, well, I think they can do assignments, but most of them don't. And they're not supposed to do tests because it's the week before finals, so we're supposed to get that week to study, basically. Um, and I, between three classes, have five assignments due finals week, which is nuts. That's, like, I don't understand. Uh, I mean, one of them hasn't been assigned yet, and our final for the class is on, like, Wednesday or something like that. So I don't understand what they're going to do about that. Oh, I should clarify. I do this every time I start talking about dates, but um, I'm recording this on, gosh, what day is it? I think it's Saturday in the park. I think it was the 4th of July, but it's not. It's actually my birthday, 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Hey, that should be coming up. I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. Oh, man. Maybe I should, like, stream for 24 hours. That would be nuts, though. Um, yeah. Maybe I won't do that. <laughs> we'll see. I'll do something. I'll have to do something for my birthday. Something fun. Something wild. Or maybe not. Maybe, you know, it doesn't have to be wild. It could be normal. It could just be a good time. <clears throat> oh goodness. Sorry that we didn't get like much done this episode. Um and sorry now that all that we can see is ocean and sorry for all the lag. I definitely need to close Minecraft as soon as I'm done with this episode. But uh we did make it through the dimensional doors um and not really have like the same issues that we did the first time. So that's good. I mean, that's a step forward. All right. Oh no, I just looked at my uh my video schedule and I think I recorded an episode of Isaac but didn't write down a title. That's the worst. That is actually truly the worst, because, as you could imagine, when I record four or five Isaac episodes in a row, uh, not writing down a title for one is bad, because there's no way I'll remember what it's about. So, we will, uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> I'm sure the same thing happens with my episode description for, like, everything, because... I always write episode descriptions when I upload videos, which by then I've forgotten whatever that episode was about. All I have to go off is the title. So I've probably done a bunch that don't make sense with what actually happens in the episode, but that uh, would not surprise me at all. That would be a very me thing to do. Wow, there are a lot of squids. Look at all these squids. Oh, I love it. Just swimming with the squids. Hey, squiddies. Wow, you really can't see as soon as you go into the water. That's wild. Pitch black. Crazy. I cannot believe how far we are from home. Jeez. That, um, that dimensional door really took us a long ways away. Much longer than I originally anticipated. But... I know we're getting close now. Well, besides being able to just like read the uh, meters, which I don't know anything about meters. You know, just me being a silly American, I can't tell you anything about meters at all. What can I say? I don't get the meter system. I, I wish we would use the metric system, but we don't. We're, uh, are we, like, only, I think we might be the only country left that doesn't use the metric system. Which is kind of wild to me. Seems like maybe we should catch up. But I think if we switch to metric, we should also switch to, uh, binary rather than decimal. 
I think that would be fun. Just do all of our math in binary. Binary math is kind of cool. Although, um, uh, oh, what hexadecimal math is really good too. Woo! All right, we're almost there. Not much longer. Oh yeah, did you see that jump? Pretty much, uh, pretty much Indiana Jones is what I am. I wonder if there's a whip. There, there should be a whip. One of these mods has to have added a whip, right? All right. So uh, I think that. As soon as I hit the house, we will be uh, calling it good for an episode. Hopefully before the next episode, I will have some time to look a little bit more at those crazy recipes and crazy uh, structures to build automated factory type things. I don't even know what to call it. But, uh, yeah, this is where, where I'm going to call this one. So, as always, feel free to comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video if you liked the video but with uh, all of that being said I am going to say that I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time